March 12. That is the deadline the Supreme Court has set for the State Bank of India to submit the details of electoral bonds through which political parties received anonymous funding. SBI attempted to extend the time till June 30, but Chief Justice Chandrachur chided the basis of counter arguments and passed a strict order to comply with the deadline. SBI argued that it needed more time and explained that it is challenging to organize and understand the data from selling these bonds. SBI claimed that donor and redemption details were stored separately. But the judges did not agree with senior advocate Harish Salve, who represented SBI. They repeated their earlier instruction, emphasizing that the court only required SBI to disclose information about the donor without needing to match it with the beneficiary. The Chief Justice pointed out that SBI, being a leading bank in the country with KYC, should be able to manage this task easily. On February 15th, the Supreme Court struck down the electoral bond scheme, deeming it unconstitutional. SBI was ordered to provide the Election Commission with details of bond beneficiaries by March 6th. And when that deadline passed, several opposition parties took to the streets and started protesting. The CPIM, one of the original petitioners in the electoral bonds case, staged a protest outside SBI offices across the country. Earlier, the Supreme Court directed the Election Commission to put out the bond details provided by the SBI on its website by March 15th, and this deadline remains unchanged. With Lok Sabha elections drawing closer, all roads are now leading to electoral bonds and the impact they will have. After all, this was the scheme which served as a tool offering complete anonymity to political donors. Additionally, it facilitated crucial legal amendments, enabling corporations to make political donations. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.